footpath, you gotta be shitting me. Uh, you reckon? Yeah. Oh my god, it's slimy. Right, you're gonna have to hold on to me for sure. Uh, it looks epic in here. Well, you could ride down through here for sure. But just sort of watch out when you come out on the main road. So yeah, every time we come to Cheddar, coming up through Cheddar, okay, we always go on the left side, but we decided to come on the right side today. <coughs> and uh, this place is insane. This is supposed to be a public footpath. And uh, oh my good God. Just keep your hands sort of free. We should be wearing full faces, really. <laughs> like bang, knock our teeth out. Yeah, but it's like being in a tropical rainforest. GoPro will never do it justice how steep this is. But uh, on a kind of quiet morning, yeah, this is definitely going to be rideable, I reckon. And the plan is to try and find out where the lines are and then kind of remember my bearings and then come back with like Lewis and some nutters and then just session this stuff. Yeah, that is death, but uh, fun death. How are you doing, Grace? <laughs> oh my god. It has to be kind of early in the morning so you don't sort of come towards people, but holy crap. Yeah, I've never been up this side before. And oh my god. It's like one of the craziest rock gardens ever, isn't it? Hello mate, found a friend. So yeah, from that gate down to the bottom would probably be one of the gnarliest trails I've ever been on. Natural ones anyway. Especially in the wet, especially on an enduro. But I reckon if you sort of took it easy, took it slow, you probably could make it down there, I reckon. I'd probably just put like a couple hoodies on, two elbow pads, be like Mitchell and man, I won't care, as long as I make it down to the bottom. Even a crash would be funny, but uh, holy crap. Bloody great gates, look at this grace. They ain't messing around around here. Keeping in the bloody T-Rexes, I reckon. Oh my God, natural dream. Bit sloppy, but definitely a dream. Oh my god. Let's go to the next one. Hi there! <laughs> it like just drops straight down. Oh my good god. That is insane. Oh. Oh my god, is this deadly, Grace? I saw coming down here on a bike. Well, actually, just grip in there. Straight down the valley of death. I take a look at my life and realise there's not much left. Coolio sits way back. I think that's the uh, lyrics. Oh my good god, that's a long way down. Yeah, this side's loads better. Million times better. Yeah. Hopefully this front end don't sort of collapse away because that is literally the scariest thing ever. I'm not getting any more close to that edge. Oh my good God. Yeah, don't go any closer. Over that edge, just drops vertical straight down to the bottom of the gorge. Oh my good god.
you might be able to see it, there is rain coming right here. We're gonna get very wet in a minute, I think. All right, there. And Grace is talking to the goats. Come like she's there. Goats are here. You cannot stroke a goat, there's no way. Oh my God, Grace, that rain is coming right towards us. <laughs> Look at it. And yeah, it's arrived. That was so weird. Seeing nature in full effect. It's pretty much chasing us now. Oh my God. It got us, Grace. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Oh yeah, yeah it was. So yeah, now we're walking down what I want to actually ride down. So I'm going to give you a sneaky preview of what it kind of looks like if I turn the camera around like that. Oh my good God. Oh yeah. It'd probably be safer to actually ride down rather than walk. But some of these bits are deadly. Don't think I've ever rid anything like on this kind of level, to be honest. So it looks like another bloody planet, doesn't it? This bit looks all right, apart from these little sketchy roots and stuff, but it's a matter of just not taking the wrong turn and not going too fast, I suppose. Holy crap. Definitely worth a look at though. This will test the uh, capabilities of the Enduro to the max. That is for sure. Or the uh, Cuda, what do you reckon? <laughs> Send Cuda to the grave. So the grave. Oh yeah, both, true. Oh, some of these rocks literally stick out so far. They're like two foot big, you just have to hop them. Or sort of just try and guide round them. Watch out for that tree. Definitely be eating that one. And you can kind of see how much these actual rocks stick up. They're going to be sort of wheel testers. If you look sort of down that level, oh my God. Crunchy, crunchy time. Oh my God. Some of the bigger rocks are like ice. Your wheel goes on that, that is literally flipping you around. That is so cool though. Folks, this is what I'm going for. <laughs> you put the camera on. This shows how steep it bloody is. The angle you've got to kind of walk at. It's even wetter than we started now. Proper sloppy. Yeah, that other route would probably be a lot more sane than this one, especially in the wet. I don't think you're stopping on this one. Holy crap. Yeah, kind of like around there and then down and onto the main road. Yeah, that is crazy. It's doable, but crazy. Oh God, you falling? Oh my God, deadly. Right, stay focused. This is going to be harder than I thought. Yeah. You being naughty back there? Trying to get me wet? This is if I ain't wet enough. <laughs> Slowly does it, Grace. You can't even slide on your ass, can you? Because the rocker got it. We're nearly there, I can hear the road. It's like literally there. <laughs> that is so gnarly, it's unbelievable. Right, I can see our van, Grace. I can see it. Oh my God. Hiya. Christ. So that is end of part one. I was actually pinpointed to that position, to that uh, location. Uh, they advised me to walk it first, just to have a little look at it. And now I've looked at it, I wanna do it. So part two will be coming soon. Who is brave enough to do the cheddar challenge with me? And uh, we'll see what happens. I am looking forward to it and hopefully someone else is as well. Lewis, are you there? 
So now I've got to get some riding clips and someone left a comment saying I should put the peg on the right side of the Cuda. The reason why I didn't is because uh, you see in the video now, there was a bolt head that holds a derailleur on, which is in the way. So I've taken it off, made a little bodge so it kind of stays on. And because of the way the GoPro is, the lens is on the, like, the left hand side. It's, the actual lens now is closer to the bike so you get less of a view, but uh, you wanted it, you're going to get it. So uh, back in Kingscliff, GoPro 7 on the back now because I'm feeling brave. It's probably not a good idea. And, uh, See what happens. So much grease here than yesterday. Oh my god. Holy crap. How's it going? I thought it was a bloody lollipop lady. I thought it was a lollipop lady. So we're in traffic or what? What's that? Yeah, I got a peg on the right side now. So I'll try that. Hopefully I don't snap it off. But it's fucking greasy, isn't it? So yeah, sometimes you ask, sometimes you get, and that is what it looks like on the right side of my bike. But like I explained, the uh, lens is closer into the frame, so you get sort of less of a view. But uh, I'm pretty sure that looked a bit sketchy. That is so boggy out there, it's ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Come down with me, mate. I'll sit you in a little basket up front.